Hi guys, in this series of videos, I'm going to share with you a full mobile workflow that I've developed to create and groom hair using hair cards. And you can get what I think is a pretty decent result like this. A hair that is very light and can even be used in models for games. In this first video, I'm going to teach you how to create the hair card itself. So, let's go to it. Okay guys, first create a plane and go to the parameter tab. Set the size to 5x5 and the subdivisions to 0. This plane will be used for reference. Now go to the top view and lock the view by clicking and holding on the view cube. Now let's select the tub tool and on the left side panel select path and create a vertical line roughly at the size of the plane. Then click on this green dot. Next, click on this yellow dot to set the thickness to 0.01. Now let's go to the parameter tab and change the X subdivisions to 3 and the Y subdivisions to 30. Then click on validate. Let's move the plane a little bit down on the Y axis. Ok, let's hide the plane cause we need it later. Let's select the move brush, zoom in and with a really big brush give the hair strength some curves. Now let's unlock the view, switch to the gizmo tool and on the left side panel click on clone and right after move the hair a little bit to the side. Now let's offset the scale, the position and the rotation of the second hair. Now clone it again and repeat. Now that we have three hair strands, go to the Scene tab and select them and click on Join. After clone it three times, join it again and keep on doing this until you have your desired result. Ok, now for the finishing touches. Let's give a little bit more variation. The Drag tool can be used to move all the strands of hair within an object at the same time. The Move tool can be used to move individual strands, which is good to create some flyaways. To finish, join all your hair into one object, then go to the Geometry tab and subdivide it one time. Ok, we'll be rendering four maps. The first one will be the Opacity map. The Opacity map will derive the transparency of the hair card. Now go to the Shading tab and change it to Unlit. Next, we need to define our aspect ratio. In our case, we are creating a long lock of hair, so we'll go with an aspect ratio of 1 by 4. Go to the Projects tab and scroll down to the Render Settings. Turn on Custom and set Width to 1024 and the Height to 4096 and click on Render. We need our hair to fill as much space on our final image as possible. And now, as you can see, that's not the case. Let's unhide the plane we created in the beginning. Go to the Painting tab and give the plane a bright saturated color. Now adjust the view and do another render. Repeat that process until your hair is filling as much space as possible on the render. Now go to the camera tab and create a view. In case you accidentally move the camera, you can have a possibility to go back. Now let's hide the plane again. Go to the project tab and render. Then save the image. The next map will be the shadow map. First, go to the shading tab and change it to PBR. Still on the shading tab, change the environment map to Studio Small 06. Now render and save the image. The next map will be the ambient occlusion map. Ok, to do that, activate post process and turn on just the ambient occlusion. Turn off any other effect. Now go to the shading tab and change it to unlit. Render and save the image. The last map will be the death map. The death map is a black and white image that indicates which points are closer and away from the camera. On the top right panel, go to the Debug tab and on the Render Settings, turn on this Height Map option. The Height Map works by taking the last object selected as the most further away point. Ok, let's unhide that plane again. Now let's tap on the plane so it will update the depth map. It's a little bit dark, but don't worry, we are going to adjust it outside of Nomad. Render and save the image. Now let's open your favorite image editing app. In my case, I will use Art Studio Pro, but any app that has support to layers will do the job. Import all maps as layers and name them for organization. Now let's select the depth map layer and adjust the levels to brighten a little bit. Ok, now let's move the opacity layer to the bottom of the layer stack, then turn off the visibility of all remaining layers. Ok, let's move the shadow map layer just above the opacity map layer. 
turn on its visibility and change the blending mode to multiply. Now reduce the layer opacity until you have a good result. Let's do the same with the ambient occlusion and depth map layer. Ok, let's export as PNG. We're gonna use this image to create our normal map. And for that we're going to use this site called Normal Map Online, the link will be in the description. Click on the first image and select the map we just created. Change the strength to 1, the level to 4 and the blur to minus 1. Now click on download and next click on C. Press and hold and select to save to photos. The last map will be the color. Go back to your image editor. Move the depth layer to the top of the stack and just below create a new layer and fill it with the desired color. Then change its blending mode to color. Now to give more color variation, let's change the depth map layer blending mode to hard light. You can also try soft light and overlay as blending modes. Do a final adjustment on the color layer by trying different colors. Now export and let's go back to Nomad. Ok, now let's assemble our hair card. Create a new plane and on the parameters tab set the size to our selected aspect ratio, which is 1 by 4. Set the X divisions to 0 and the Y divisions to 4 and validate it. Go to the material tab and in the texture settings on color, click on the white square and select the color map. Next, do the same with the normal map. If the effect of the normal map is too strong, you can adjust by moving the slider to the left. Now do the same with the opacity map. To finish, turn on smooth shading and give it one more subdivision level on the geometry tab. And don't forget to turn on linear subdivision. Now your hair card is done. You can use the gizmo with masks and move tool to start placing the hair on your models. But don't worry, on the next tutorial I'm going to cover all my grooming workflow, techniques, tips and tricks so you can get a result like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, I'll see you soon.